Hi everybody, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Sometimes you'd like to add a number of clips at the same time to your movie, and you'd like to automatically add a crossfade between each of those clips or events automatically all in one motion and that's very easy and very possible to do. One thing you'll want to do before you begin here is to come on down to the bottom of the interface and make sure that automatic crossfades is turned on. So that's that little button right there. So this means anytime that two clips or two events overlap, a crossfade will automatically be created between them. Then we'll want to change the overall preferences for the program. So we just go up here to Options, and from the Options menu, select Preferences. And here in General Preferences, under the Editing tab, you will find the option to automatically overlap multiple selected media when added. Okay, so this is going to automatically, as we add clips to the timeline, a group of clips that these clips will all or the events will all overlap. And in fact, we can choose how much they overlap. And you can see by default, the cut to overlap, or the overlap will be one second, or 30 frames at my current setting of 29.97 frames per second. We can just, let's just an experiment, we'll change that to two seconds. And then we'll click OK. For the most part, this isn't going to affect your editing. However, if you grab a number of clips at once, I'm going to hold down the Shift key and select one, and then select the other so that we've got a whole group of clips. And we're going to drag them on down here to Video Track. Well, well let's move the video and audio track. There we go. So they're right there on the left. We'll drag these this group of clips on down there. And when I let go, you can see automatically we have a overlap between each event, a little two second overlap in fact, because that's what we set in our preferences. And this overlap will be a cross dissolve. We have a cross dissolve turned on here. So if I play this, you'll see that uh, as the movie plays, we'll get to the cut between scenes or the cut between events, and that cut will appear as a two second cross dissolve. There it is right there. Now. What happens if we'd like another transition other than a cross dissolve? I have not found a way to add multiple transitions or to add transitions uh, or even random transitions to each of these overlaps. However, you can do it one at a time. It's not that hard. If you just, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit by using the roller on my mouse. You can also do it by pressing the up key on your keyboard. So we get a nice close up here of our transition. And I'm just going to right click on the transition. If I go to the top of this context menu, you see I can convert the transition to a cut or I can change it to another transition. So I'm just going to select insert other and we'll use the transition of flip for instance, 3D flip click OK. And now we have, instead of that cross dissolve, we've changed that transition to, and you can see it here, a 3D flip. There we go. Now there is another way to do this, or to change each of these crossfades into transitions, and that is to just go to the transition tab up here in the upper left of the program's interface, select any transition, 3D checkerboard, for instance, and just drag it onto the crossfade. As long as you see that little plus there, as I hover over that crossfade, that crossfade then becomes my transition. So I can do that all the way down my timeline here. And I can, of course, modify and customize those transitions as needed. Now, if you want to know more about these tools, the obvious places and the not so obvious places that tools appear, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about the program, check out my moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. My books are available on amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.